Then now we off to question seven. They say to us the siren of a rescue vehicle emits waves at uh, 360 at a frequency of 360 hertz. The frequency of the sound is heard by a listener standing along the road is 405. So we notice there that the detected frequency is higher than the emitted waves. So that does tell us that that may be that the uh, the rescue vehicle is moving towards okay the listener now they say to us uh, define uh, the doppler effect in words okay so we remember that uh, it is the apparent change uh, in the frequency the detected frequency uh, due to the relative motion between the source and the listener okay so please uh, we we need to remember that definition all right now they say to us was the rescue vehicle moving towards or away so we know it was definitely moving towards they say explain the answer making use of reference and uh, making specific reference rather to frequency wave fronts and wavelength okay so no, uh, first of all we know that the frequency, okay, the detected frequency, I should say, okay, uh, the detected frequency is higher okay, is higher, all right, and they said we must use uh, a reference to frequency wave fronts. Uh, and so that means that the wave fronts are closer together, right? So the wave fronts are closer, closer together or closer to each other, I should say. And they said wavelength. So remember that the wavelength is actually shorter. Okay, so therefore the wavelength is shorter. All right, so that is how we're going to explain that. Now, they said to us, uh, take the speed of sound in air to be 340. Right, apologies for that writing there. And they say calculate the speed at which the rescue vehicle was moving. So we know we're going to use the Doppler effect there, right? So that's V plus minus uh, VL. That's V plus minus VS times FS. So notice in this case, we know that uh, our, uh, our listener rather was stationary, okay? So that tells us that that's going to be zero. So we've got V divided by V and Vs. And for those of you that have seen me do this section in the easiest way possible, you know that we want a higher frequency, detected frequency. So that this needs to be an improper fraction. So that has to be minus, okay, times Fs. So let's actually uh, substitute the values that we have there. Right, so the detected frequency, that's 405, that's 340, divided by, okay, so that's 340 minus Vs, and the frequency of the source was 360, okay, um, so well, it's really up to you how you want to uh, actually just solve this uh, moving forward, right? So what we can do is we can say this is uh, the product of those two, right? Uh, the numerators, okay? And we cross multiply. So we've got 340 times 360, okay? Which is equal to uh, 405 into 340 minus Vs. All right, so that makes it easier 
if I divide by 405, uh, 405, and I am going to subtract uh, 340. So that cancels with that. So let's find out what Vs would be. Okay, so we've got uh, 340 times 360 divide by 405. Okay, that gives me 302. And I'm going to subtract from there uh, 340. I get negative 37. But remember, in this case, I would have had minus Vs is that. So Vs would be equal to 37 point seven eight meters per second all right please just verify that and make sure that you get to the same value right so the next questions and uh, next set of questions they say the driver of the rescue vehicle continues at the speed past the stationary listener what changes or change if any would occur to the following Okay, they say write down the values of. Right, so firstly, the frequency of the siren as heard by uh, the driver. Now remember, the driver is moving at the same speed as the vehicle. So he will hear exactly the same frequency as the emitted frequency. So that would be 360 hertz right now they say the frequency observed by the listener okay now in this case uh, what we can do is uh, we can find uh, let's see uh, we can actually make a quick calculation there uh, i think this would really require a bit of a calculation um or you know I think they said what changes, if any, would occur there. Uh, so perhaps let's just say um, less than uh, 360, because uh, then that would otherwise require calculation. So it would definitely be less than 360, the frequency of the source, right? And then they say the speed of sound in air. Remember, that doesn't change. Uh, that would remain the same. Okay, so this would actually have no change. Uh, so it would be 340 meters per second. Okay, right. So um, that is how we're going to explain that. And essentially, ladies and gents, that brings us to the end of this question. Uh, 13 marks in the bag. And I know that you would get it absolutely correct. All right, let's go to the next question.